Tesla has just opened up a lot of its superchargers to drivers, other electric cars, you know, Hyundai, Ford, etc. Ford, of course, is first. You now have access if you drive a Ford to many of Tesla superchargers, eventually, apparently all of them. Though you do pay a premium, the price is 30% higher unless you sign up for a membership of 13 US dollars per month. However, there is one issue. If you want to charge your Ford, um, especially your Ford F-150 Lightning, there can be problems. Tesla say that they have a solution and this is what it is. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Tesla says, solution, easy. You can double park at supercharger stalls if you're in a non-Tesla and the cable doesn't reach your charging port. Now, of course, Tesla sort of designed the chargers, the length of the cable to be able to work for Tesla vehicles. But if you don't have a Tesla vehicle, the length of the cable may not work for you. Tesla says, well, just, just do this. However, people might not like you very much if you do it. So it's probably easier for Tesla to say it, but not so easy for you necessarily to do it. Now, of course, if the supercharger bay is empty and let's say there's 10 charging ports and there's, there's only a couple of cars there or no cars, I think it'll be fine. But yeah, I mean, if it's busy, I don't think it's going to fly. Ford's EV customers have been given the gift of an entirely revamped charging network. They can now use Tesla's network 15,000. In fact, more than 15,000 new DC fast chargers are available. Meaning, if you've got a Ford electric car, you've got a lot more options. It's honestly a huge, huge benefit for people who have Ford EVs or in fact, any EV in the future, but right now Ford EVs. However, you do need to use a magic dock connector. I believe Ford are actually giving them out for free. Non-Tesla vehicles though may have to double park. Now, in the future, you won't need the Magic Dock connector that you can get for free, or Tesla sell them as well. Ford sell them, I believe, possibly too. You'll be able to simply use your charging port because Ford will put NAX charging ports on their EVs, I believe, starting the end of this year. And that'll mean that you won't need to use the adapter. However, because Tesla's network was originally designed for Teslas, um, they were able to maximize cost savings by ensuring designs worked just well enough for Tesla EVs. So the cables in many cases are not long enough for the F-150 Lightning and sometimes for the Mustang Mach-E. Now the supercharger cable is too short to reach the front of the Mach-E when it's backed in. When the car pulls in, the charge port is then located on the opposite side of the vehicle. So in this photo, it looks like it's charging fine, but actually you've got to use the wrong charger for the Mustang Mach-E in most cases in order to charge it. Now, Tesla's website says this, in some cases, you might have to park over the line in order to charge comfortably. Avoid parking diagonally to reach the cable and try to obstruct as few charge posts as possible. Charge port locations vary by EV model, which requires cable sharing between adjacent stalls at many sites. I'm going to guess that eventually Tesla will put longer cables in like they are with their version 4 superchargers. Now, Tesla is working to resolve this problem with its V4 superchargers, but obviously, I mean, it's not going to change all of its V3s or V2s to V4 cables. It's not going to happen. But either way, this is a good thing. Either way, eventually all cars will have NAX charging ports and all of them will use Tesla's NAX chargers as the standard, which will be good for customers. There won't be the need to carry additional cables in your car to be confused or have the right EV for this charging station, etc., etc. I think it's a big benefit for EV owners and a positive overall. But this is one of the challenges we're going to see pop up. Having charging stations and not have a long enough cable. Yeah, I mean, solutions here is, I guess, maybe talk to people around you. Say, guys, I need to use this charger. I can't get there unless I do this. Sorry if this is a hassle. I'll take this long, etc. I guess that's probably a good solution. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching.